Hi, I'm Julian from Alibaba Cloud Database International Product Team. Today, I will show you an example of that JR JDBC program working with PolarDB High Availability. This part is the architecture of the PolarDB. Uh, for this topic, the key component is the Polar Proxy in the red rectangle. Basically, you can publish the primary endpoint and the cluster endpoint with the help of load balancer. Primary nodes is attached to the primary endpoint, while all nodes, including primary nodes and read-only nodes, are attached to the cluster endpoint. JDBC program can connect to either primary endpoint or cluster endpoint with different business requirements. In this demo, I will show the HA high availability feature of the PolarDB. Here, I use the PolarDB MySQL version 5.6. Other versions like PostgreSQL or Oracle has the similar logic. I have prepared a cluster in Indonesia, Jakarta region. In the connection information section of the overview page on Web Console, primary endpoint and the cluster endpoint are listed here if you have already created. The primary endpoint is the access URL provided by the primary nodes. When a failover occurs, this endpoint is automatically switched to the new primary node to ensure the high availability, during which there will be a short disconnection up to 30 seconds. While the cluster endpoint is recommended to use within your application to access PolarDB, which integrates all nodes to provide a unified endpoint that supports features including high availability, read-write splitting, and automatic load balancing. In this demo, we will use the public-facing endpoint to access the demo cluster, which has a primary nodes and two read-only nodes. All of them have the same specifications. I wrote a Java program to demonstrate this actual feature. The basic logic here is to connect and query the target PolarDB cluster via primary or cluster endpoint in a while loop. I have populated TBCH data for demo in the target database. The important thing here is that we must have an exception capture and a reconnect logic here in the Java program to make sure the demo request could work continuously. First, I use the primary endpoint to access the target database. The request sent and the results back continuously, you can see here. Back to the web console, click switch primary node button to simulate the primary node failover. The connection failed now and the reconnecting is triggered in the program. About 10 seconds around, reconnecting successfully after the, the primary node failover finished at the back end. Let's try to restart the read-only nodes to simulate the read-only node failure to see what will happen.
Okay, nothing happened as expected. Since the primary endpoint only accessed the primary nodes, the read-only nodes failure were not affected. Next, change to use the cluster endpoint. And run the program again. Now, click Switch Primary Node button to simulate the primary node failover again. The connection failed now, and the reconnecting is triggered as well. Again, about 10 seconds around, reconnecting successfully, and the program back to work again when the failover finished. Then, let's try to restart the read-only node to simulate the read-only node failover. Nothing happened. Since in this demo case, the current connection was not accepted within this read-only node before, but on someone else. The database JDBC is connection-oriented protocol for load balancing. Within this demo, the reconnection action was triggered or not depends on the nodes where the connection was accepted before. Let's try to restart the primary node then. The connection failed now, and the reconnecting is triggered. About 10 seconds around as well. Reconnecting successfully after the primary node failover finished at the backend. That's all for the Polar DBHA demo. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to submit the tickets and contact with us if you have any questions.